Hello guys, welcome to TechMath. Today I'll show you how to get rid of from the weird IP which shows in Linux Red Hat. After it arises really after creating a new virtual machine from existing VMDK or whatever. You will get the IP like this. Something like this 192.168.44.129 so to get it out from this raid we have to follow some steps and some other things so i'll show you that how to get rid out of from it so first i'm going to assign temporary ip and before assigning ip you should be clear that here you can see that auto eth2 eth2 is the ethernet port where we have to apply the ip i mean we have to assign the ip the temporary IP okay so first step is as follows okay eth2 as you can see that in the backward step i didn't type eth so that shows that no such a device no nothing so here i'm typing eth2 and now pressing enter and now if you type if config again so then you will see that you will be able to see that the ip has been changed from 192 to 10.0.0.7 so now the next step is to get into the I mean I'm changing my directory to etc okay and here I'm typing ls and here you can see that uh, host files hosts so I'm going to open it okay now we have to edit it you can see that something is inside something is written already inside the host file so we have to edit it I am opening and copying my data copy and getting into the virtual machine and uh, now enter get into the insert mode okay now delete it now paste here okay after pasting it you have to change the ip what you uh, configure in the ethernet port now save it okay now we have to change directory into says config and then network scripts and here if you type ls then you will be able to see that ifcfg and eth0 so i'm going to read the eth0 file here you can see that it's showing the ip address 10.0.0.6 so first i'm going to copy it okay now this time i'm going to uh, create uh, or sorry i'm going to edit it okay now here we have to change the eth0 to 2 because it's auto eth2 now on root i'm typing it yes now i'm going to save it okay here i'm again reading the file and you can see that it's changed now ETH2 
Okay, now I'm going to open the setup. Now get into the DNS configuration and here change the primary DNS which is something like 5 our secondary DNS is 7 and then change the DNS search path and hit OK and save and quit again get quit now you will be able to see that here uh, is system ETA 0 is come down now you, if you click on it ok now check if config then the IP has been changed so if you want to see that it's permanent or not so restart the server it's getting boot so wait till it will take us to the login screen then we will see that our assigning of IP is permanent or not Okay, now you can see it take us to the login screen. Now I'm going to log in from the road. Now you can see that it's get into the system eth auto eth2 has been removed now check the ip uh, here we did correct and 101 percent successful you can see the ip is now 10.0.0.7 which is permanent so thanks for watching by this way you can assign ip permanent by changing the auto eth to system eth thanks for watching